G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of The Outfit. I don't know if you can tell, but my spear fishing kit is absolutely beat to hell. My suit's ripped, my hood's ripped, my gloves are all torn up, as well as my booties. My fins are almost completely destroyed, so I'm in desperate need of some new gear. But there's just so many brands, there's so many styles to choose from, I just don't even know where to begin. What the f Hey, Who Ryan. the hell are you? Well, I'm you, you bloody muppet. I wanted to drop in and tell you oh that my. you are now a proud ambassador of Seabuck. No way. Well, I was gonna say, bro, that's a mighty fine kit you got on there. Sick. Yeah, cheers, legend. We know the best thing about Seabuck. Well, they're a Kiwi brand, right from your hometown in Christchurch. How sick is that? Well, hey, that's awesome. Looking forward to trying out the kit. All right, bro, well, I better leave you to it. Happy hunting for some delicious kaimawana, brother. Cheer, Chris. See you next time, brother. time to clean the fish so I was out there for two and a half hours just looking for bombies and little cracks finally found a crack it just happened to be pretty much just in front of the Jeep so I got this good sized coral trout awesome shot in him right between the eyes so he was dead straight away new Seabuck kit is so nice I'm stoked with it the GoPro but he ran out of uh, battery just before I shot this guy because I was running around filming look he's regurgitated a fish See the fish coming out of his mouth? Oh. Two fish for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> what a beast, eh? Old boy, he's all scarred up. It's missing part of a fin. All right, time to clean him up. And then I'll probably We'll probably cook the whole thing on the fire tonight and then have half of it tomorrow for dinner as well. All right, let's get at it. So I'll remove the gills. Which on this coral trout are really spiky. Like really spiky. And the gills. And they'll uh, affect the quality of the meat. And coral trout's one of the best in the ocean, so I want to preserve them. Someone's coming for a free meal. All the guts out. Here's our liver, which looks nice and healthy. It's all one color, no spots on it. Nice healthy looking fish, this one. Here's the stomach, so he's probably got a little bit more food in there, as well as he had that fish in there before. So I'm just gonna cut all this out. <laughs> Bird's gone for it. Got himself a good feed. One delicious clean coal trout. All right. I don't mind cooking the fish, 
once Chris prepared it, but preparing and like removing the blood and everything is definitely not for me. Kind of like grossed me out a little bit. So I'm glad that Chris is getting the fish, preparing it. We're a good team for that. So a coral trout has to be 45 centimeters long. I know this guy's well over that. So tip of the tail to the snout is 54 centimeters. So easy, good size coral trout. And for me and Ange, this is easily two big, big dinners. There's a lot of meat on that. So I'm gonna chuck them in a bag and then put them straight in the fridge. We don't have a freezer right now, but at least it can keep them quite cold. So I need to work out. All right, now it's time to collect some firewood to build our cooking station for the coral trout. I'm just making sure there's no bugs in them. Also, collecting firewood is the perfect opportunity on your way to see if you find any trash. Just on collecting just a few sticks, I found two cans, this little plastic thing, and a more plastic. Mm, and I um, I brought in some fishing tackle from the sea before, which was good. So easy to do. So Chris is cleaning the ocean, I clean the land. Alrighty, fire is lit. Easy peasy. I'm just using one of those little like flammable lighter bricks because there's not a lot of other tinder around here and that is working absolutely fine. So we'll put some more logs on there in a sec. And then we'll chuck our new grill on and chuck the fish on their hole. All right, this is, this is so good. So I just ate the cheek, tasted amazing. Bit burnt on the skin, but underneath it is super juicy and nice. Cooking on the fire just tastes so bloody good. Wind's picking up. Pretty simple dinner tonight, so we're gonna smash this and then have an early night. How good is the sunset? It's mental. The flies are out of control, but we're back in the Gulf and stoked. Not guys. Alrighty, as you can tell, we are back. So we were here yesterday, but it was all very rushed and all over the show because I just badly wanted to try on my new spearfishing kit, get in the water because it was beautiful weather. So now we've gone back to town, gone some food, did some work in the library. Now we are back here. We're gonna do our usual style of vlogging. So I'm gonna go out soon, see if I can get a fish for dinner. And just gonna call her parents in France because the time difference is pretty full on. I called my mum earlier on as well, which is really nice. So yeah, beautiful weather, almost a glass off in the Gulf. Don't know if you can tell. Only tricky thing is the tide is quite far out. So I'm waiting for it to come back in a little bit. Hopefully I can film getting a fish this time on the GoPro and we'll start from there.
70. 70 centimeters. 70 centimeter coal trail, yes. See big gear, working pretty well. Right. <laughs> How not to enter a boat. <laughs> I'm naked. Like a little mermaid. Look. Good job. Oh, sick. Oh, he's so happy. Oh. Yeah. He's a big boy. Jeez. I wonder how much he weighs. All right. Um, Put bets on. Quick, I don't know, five? Nah. Good morning. All right, so not too sure where to begin. <laughs> Basically, when we saw you last, we just set up and then we get a text from our mate Caleb over Instagram saying, are you up on the beach, guys? We're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Turned out he was the only boat in the Gulf that we could see and he had spotted us because we're the only vehicle on the beach and we certainly do stand out with this <laughs> blue vehicle. So he came steaming in with his mate Ants, uh, grabbed us and then we went and picked up Caleb's girlfriend Louise and shot out not too far, but it was starting to get pretty late in the day, so the light was going down. Went for a little dive. I shot a little stripy sea perch, which was 35 centimeters, also called a Spanish flag, and here they taste really, really nice. Never actually shot one before, because the ones I see close to shore when I usually go are a bit too small. So got that in the boat, and then went out, and I shot a horse of a coral trout, which turned out to be 5.8 kilograms on the scales, and was 70, 71 centimeters, absolute whopper. But we have no room in our little fridge for a fish that size. So fortunately, Caleb went and cleaned it up and we'll grab a few fillets off him at some stage. But we basically steamed back in and it was dark, so we couldn't do any filming past then. But it was awesome. So hopefully we'll go out with them again one day soon. So the plan today, we're just gonna basically chill on the awning, which has been very good so far. We just put the guy rope and the pole behind me just for safety. You don't have to do it, it's a freestanding one, but we just prefer not to break it just in case a big wind gust. Just in case a big gust of wind. Gust of wind. Just in case a big gust. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Just in case a big gust of wind comes back. Just in case. Just in case it gets very windy. Ten goes, you'll get it, I'm telling you. Have faith. So just in case a big wind gust come in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I did you? Yeah, it's pretty close. Sounds okay. Try again. Come in? Came in? Yeah, in case a big gust of wind comes in. Just in case a big wind of gust come in. <laughs> <laughs> did I do it? Yeah, it was perfect. So why are you laughing? So anyway. So this is the plan today. Chris is probably not gonna go spare fishing because we've got enough fish. So we'll cook the Spanish flag tonight and probably, probably have it like as a fish and chips. We'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, we're just gonna chill and train a little bit later, I think. So a few minutes ago, I said Chris won't go spare fishing today because we've got enough fish. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> He's still gonna go. All right, so it's 12 p.m. I'm gonna train now. Luckily, I've got an awning so I can get some shade here. I would like to share with you a little tip if you train as well on the road or when you go camping on the weekend. If you feel a little bit unmotivated, a good tip is to write yourself the workout that you're about to do on your phone or on a piece of paper so that you can visualize it and commit to it, which is the key. So for me today, I'm gonna to do five sets of this sandbag workout. 
I'll put it on the screen as well just in case you can't see it but yeah I feel a bit tired so it's good for me to know what I'm gonna do and commit to that so let's get started click on the card at the top if you want to see a full glutes workout video that was so neat well Angie's been taking a little nap I was just about to start editing on my computer and I saw a little like puff of air like a whale but too close to be a whale because I know it's quite chill out there flew the drone across and it is a mama and baby dugong just chilling in the water and swimming together so not too far from the shore and in quite shallow water which is really cool and that was the last of the sea mammals that we had wanted to see now we've seen them all stoked all right basic fish filleting demo haven't actually filleted up a Spanish flag before but hopefully it's pretty straightforward so first of all you want to flip the fish around this way take your filleting knife and you want to find that spot which becomes bone at the first fin so cut around that like so and then up towards the neck and to the spine so you got one cut here and across and then you can do this a few different ways I like to come in from here turn the knife should obviously be a lot sharper than this rubbishy filleting knife but you want to make a small cut right the way along see I haven't done a very good scaling job there's still a few scales here right the way along to about there open the fish up and that's already most of it done so we've got the bones underneath all I need to do is come down the spine and start pulling that fish away from the spine like you can see here I try not to stab too far down into the stomach I find that part of the fish doesn't usually taste as good you can sometimes run into a bit of grief up and through here so there and across I've cut into a little bit of the bloody part but not a big deal cross again now I can turn the blade around fire it through and out the other side of the fish hold that fish on the flat and out okay so we've got most of the fillet here I haven't done the best job because there's a tiny bit of skin here then we can just pull apart come down across that fish like so and there's basically your fillet but I've done a pretty rubbishy job because we've still got some bones here but it's easy to clean up because we can find those bones come down gone so we can remove that and we've got a nice fill it like so oh here's a bone so for all the fishermen out there don't hassle me this is my first filleting demo hasn't been the best one but you kind of get the general gist but yeah that's all fine no bones in there wham bam fish and chips thank you ma'am all right so this is going to be my first fish skinning video I don't think this uh, knife is going to be sharp enough but we'll give it a crack but from what I know it's easy to dig a little hole hold my finger run that fish that's the skin off all right so now it's time to make the fish and chips there's like so many ways that you can crumb fish but me i just like to crack an egg just use this spatula to put the egg on it and then i just put the crumbs like so and i'll flip it around and do the same put some egg all right and now we put the chips on the fire that Chris prepared for me so I'm just gonna stack them like so and just a bit of olive oil some garlic some lemon straight on the pan oh you be how good does that look? So good. One of my favorite easy campfire desserts. Just some grilled pineapple, 
with some cinnamon. Oh, that looks so good. For those interested, that Spanish flag was absolutely oh, delicious. So good. Especially crumbs, so I'll keep an eye out for more of those in the sea. Yeah, that would be amazing. So tomorrow we'll head back to town, pick up our solar panel, turn the fridge back to freezer, and we are ready to head to the west coast, the Ningaloo coastline for more snorkeling and spearfishing. See you there guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.